From the beginning of time, as we understand it, God created all life on our planet. As mortals, we have been burdened with the inevitable reality that our bodies will eventually decay and die. Like all living things, we are born and we live our existence and then our bodies cease to live. When we were created by the Lord God, Genesis 2.7, God created Adam. God breathed into the human race something different than the rest of creation. Man was given a living soul. Our original state was one that had constant communication with our Creator, and we had the tree of life within us. We, our souls, were not subject to death. God had placed us in a paradise and he had placed a paradise in us. We were in the Garden of Eden. We had fellowship with our Creator, and we enjoyed his constant presence. We were at one with our Creator. We enjoyed life without the threat of death, or without the threat of separation from our original state. As a rule to continued oneness with our Creator, we were prohibited to partake of another source of consciousness, which was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If we were to choose to partake of this forbidden tree, then we would lose our unity with our Creator, and as the Lord told us, we would not certainly die. The fall of man and the corruption of our being was a choice to disobey God and to partake of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Eve was beguiled by the serpent. The word beguiled means seduced. The serpent was Lucifer. Adam also disobeyed God, and what was one kingdom now became a kingdom divided. We lost right standing, and we lost our intimacy with God our Father and became subject to spiritual and eternal death. What started as one, the tree of life, was now corrupted with the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the tree of death. We were now a kingdom divided. The Lord God told Satan, the serpent, I will put enmity between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. So began the curse and man's need for a plan of redemption to restore him back to oneness with God. Genesis 6 in the Bible says, As the human population began to grow, and daughters were born, the sons of God, Satan and the fallen angels, had intercourse with human women, thus producing a kingdom divided by the flesh as well as spiritual separation. The temple of God, our bodies, had been corrupted by the seed of the serpent, thus producing our dual and our sinful natures. We had now become two separate things in one body, always at war with ourselves and slaves to the flesh and slaves to sin. Satan had turned our world upside down. Death had now become the rule for the human race, and the rule would not be disproved until thousands of years later through Jesus Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the enmity. So as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace, and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity.